Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I got something different today. Uh, an interesting perspective. Uh, I believe this is a photo taken from a video, but we'll see what we can do. There's going to be a lighthouse with an upward look towards the sky. So let's do that. All right, so one thing I did here is I watered down the canvas to make it a little bit easier uh, to do the paint spread. So I literally only had to go over it one time. I mean, well, I went back and forth with the paint, but I didn't have to fight with it at all. I just put blue on my palette, uh, dipped my big three-inch brush in it, just kept blue or the, the paint on one corner of it, and then just started painting. So I left the bottom part down there where the horizon is white, just by the canvas color itself. Now, the clouds in this are a little bit different because of the, the different perspective, the different angle. Uh, they're going crosswise and plus I believe uh, the reference photo I'm using for this is I believe it was a video that someone took a, a photo of or like a screenshot of so the clouds just kind of go up in this angle and I was using a different kind of white paint for this I guess it's from a company called Jot or something but it, it was annoying because when it comes out of the tube, it's all nice and thick and you think it'll do a good spread, but as soon as it starts to dry, it acts like kitty paint. So halfway through this, you know, I realized this and then, you know, I may use that paint still in the future, but I'm probably not going to use it for what I'm doing here. So in the end, I'll just stick with the paints I usually get from, you know, Walmart because even though they're like more watered down, when they actually go on the canvas and dry they don't dry that transparent they're they're pretty decent paints for something so cheap that's one of the reasons i like them aside from the fact that they're inexpensive and this whole channel is about being inexpensive and still doing this well not really about that it's more that's an aspect of it uh, i don't like going back over the same thing a dozen times just to get the effect i want you know when paint goes on a canvas it should just be that color is just on there, you know? It shouldn't bleed through unless you're trying to get that effect. I will say that this was a unique painting experience for this one. Uh, I don't usually use reference photos. I, I mean, I sometimes still do, but this was the first time I like really used a reference photo and it made it so much faster to paint this. I mean, I, I do change things uh, how I want it to look later, especially like on the, the ground and the, uh, the, uh, the lighthouse, but generally speaking, I followed how it looked in the photo, and it turned out a lot better than probably what I would have done just out of my own head, and then it was so much faster, because all I had to do was look at the photo, and I'm like, oh, that's what that color is, that's how that needs to look. You can see what I mean by the paint it just kind of waters itself down. I mean, like I said, when it comes out of the tube, it's all nice and rigid, and it looks like a good paint, and then as soon as you start putting on the canvas, any other color below it that's darker just starts to bleed through. So I would suggest, I mean, I'm not gonna demonize that company, but you know, if you're gonna experiment with your paints, if, if you're getting the, the weird bleed through transparent effect you can keep that paint for something else like if you're trying to do like sun rays on a, uh, on a morning photo or a morning uh, canvas or something or, or you know whatever that's fine but you're trying to do something like clouds get a thicker get a thicker white paint it'll just save you just a lot of time and effort in the future and here I am just painting in the distant uh, ocean 
Uh, there was no real details in it, just dark blue. I would say if you're really trying to make your lines nice and straight and crisp, just use the masking tape. It makes it so much easier to get these lines. And yes, right here, I don't really know what happened to the clip that came before, but literally all I did was put down the tape again and just paint black all over that. And here I'm just using a sponge to dab back and forth different colors. So uh, dark green, gray, more black. Just trying to give it some texturing for how it looked in the photo. Because in the photo it was all like blue and black. It was really hard to see, even just with normal eyesight. So here I'm like, you know what? I need to make this brighter. I'm gonna put a bunch of green here. I'm gonna put a bunch of light green. So it ends up making it look a lot better and it just doesn't look like a dark mass at the bottom of the canvas. So after using the initial uh, sponge method of getting paint blotched on there, I just went back to the kitty brushes because I can do a little bit more detail work. Just adding a lot more green, some gray, and then uh, eventually yellow. And here I need to go back and add a little bit more detail to the horizon line because, you know, with all these like rocks and ground and grass, it's, something's going to stand up and it's not just going to be a perfectly straight line. And I could have just painted in grass on this hill, but then it would just look too plain and weird and too close. This way it gives the idea or the impression that there are like clumps of grass or trees or, or just bushes and whatever else is, is leading up to where the lighthouse is going to be along this sloping hill. And I'd say again, if you really want straight lines, use masking tape because <laughs> Blocking out where your paint can go is the easiest way of getting those straight lines because otherwise you're Unless you're you know like perfect at making straight lines, which I don't think anyone is you're gonna have issues See, this is a perfect example of why a flat brush uh, is useful. You can make these very square shapes and lines in, you know, uh, in paint, and it makes it look much more like a building.
All right, that is the beginning of the lighthouse, or at least the, the tower part. Here I'm just dabbing in, painting in a little bit of shadow. It's just a little bit of gray mixed with white. I probably should have went with a more of a blue color because then it matches uh, the rest of the shadows uh, in the white, like those blue shadows from the clouds. So maybe I'll go back later at some point and, and fix that. But right now, this is what you see. And see, here's one of the changes I made to the tower because I just thought it looked better. And there, it needed a little bit more contrast. You got basically white, black, you know, blue, and green in the photo, or not the photo, the uh, canvas. So why not throw a little bit of red in there, uh, change it up a bit, give it a little bit more depth, a little bit more something to look at. And one thing you have to remember is you need to do the shadows like on all the different kind of you know colors. Like so in there it was just a normal I normal like apple red color and then I just add some crimson red for the shadowing in there. And there's a little bit of a of a apple red mixed with white for the far left edge where the light is. And here just basically pinning the bottom and the shadow of the is it called the crow's nest at the top of a lighthouse? I'm not sure what that's called, but the part with the actual light thing. So here's a question for y'all. How y'all doing? I know we got a current issue going around the world right now. I don't really want to mention it right now, but, uh, you know, how are you? Here's a question you can answer in the comments. How are you guys dealing with what's going on? You know, with the shutdowns and uh, not being at work, having all this mandatory off time, which, you know, isn't bad for some people, but I know for people with, you know, no, normal nine to five jobs, it sucks because you're not at work. I know they're trying to do some things where they're helping people out with all that, but you know, how are you all you know, coping with it? For me, spending more time with the family. I got homework just because I'm, I'm studying some stuff. I like to go into that, but and painting a lot more. I've literally done four videos in a week since I'm not actually at work right now because of this whole thing. It's been kind of nice. I can actually, I can boost uh, my output for the channel and do some more impressive paintings, hopefully. It's been fun. I definitely learned a lot more in the short amount of time that I've been doing this. I began, you know, building up my home gym since I can't go to the gym anymore. That drives me crazy. But yeah, we got some gym equipment in here I built. I haven't done any videos on that because this is a painting channel, but maybe in the future I'll, I'll show you all some of the things I built. There's a pulley system in here and a big old like lever thing I built for doing all different kinds of exercises. Plus a bunch of other stuff, but that's beside the point. This is the, you know, this is the painting channel and that's what I do here. So anyway, yeah. All right, there we have it. Hope you all like it. 
Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, share all that. It helps me out. It helps keep the wife happy since this is all for her. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, that'll be coming out probably, uh, probably what next Saturday. It's usually about when I get videos out. Again, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye.